Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I wanted to do a flip through of Jade Summers' latest coloring book. This one is called Geometric Mandalas Coloring Book. So they put out another mandalas book. Let's take a look. This is set up in their standard uh, typical manner. Here's the copyright information and then we get into the book. Let's let's zoom in just a tad. Okay, here we go. So as we flip through here you can see that all of the mandalas have like a, a geometric or almost gemstone type of uh, look to them like a like prisms which could be really fun to come up with color schemes for. So yeah, I could see both the marker, gel pen, because you'll notice that there are darker lines around, but then for like the gem part inside, it's got finer lines. And that's how most of them are set up. I have not looked through this myself either, so I am seeing them for the first time. I don't believe there are any repeats in this book, though. It's a rather thick book. I will, as usual, link it down below in the description. Here's a simpler one. So I think any kind of coloring medium would work on this as in all Jade Summer books because they are single sided with the black backing on the back side of the pages. Just, of course, as usual, if you're using alcohol mediums, always pop a piece of cardstock back behind. You don't want to mess up the next picture. And even though they do put this black covering on, that does not mean that it's going to be bleed proof. It, alcohol marker is still going to bleed right through this. You're just not going to see it as much because of the black coloring, but it's still going to bleed onto your next image. So, you know, don't think because there's that black backing that the alcohol markers are not going to bleed through. They still bleed through like crazy. <laughs> so you definitely want to protect your next picture. And I know myself, when I color with colored pencils, I do not put a piece of cardstock in between. And you actually should, because even with colored pencil, you don't want to put indentations on your next image. And if you're like me and you're heavy handed, I press down quite hard with my colored pencils. And you definitely can leave imprints on the next image. So yeah, even with pencils, it could be a good idea to... Uh, put, you know, a piece of cardstock behind. So as you can see, some of these are simpler and some a little bit more detailed, but for the most part, they are all relatively more on the simpler side. So I think they'd be great fun to color in. Nothing that would take a ton of time to do, just fun coming up with, you know, different color schemes and Actually, you can throw any colors together that you want. You really don't have to think it out because any colors thrown together in mandalas end up looking great. So, you know, I've, I've gotten many questions where they say, I don't know how to come up with color schemes and, you know, things along that nature. And for mandalas, you don't really have to have a color scheme at all. <laughs> you can throw anything together. All right, now they it does say you can buy the digital editions. So you can now go to jadesummer.com and download the PDF. Way back when, they used to provide a free PDF version of all of their coloring books, but that got abused. People were sharing that code that was given at the back of the book, so they no longer do that. And I don't think... Um, after they stopped doing that, that there were any PDF versions out there. But I noticed lately that you can download a PDF version. So if you don't like the hard copy format and you just want to print out 
what you want, you can go to jadesummer.com and they do have PDFs. Um, they do have an email list, jadesummer.com, and they do have a Facebook group, Jade Summer Artwork. Plus, there is another Facebook group that somebody started up that does, you can post your Jade Summer work. And as usual, they have a listing of all of their other coloring books. So, yeah, they have a ton of books out there. And they're always coming out with more. <laughs> Here we have a bonus page. This one is from Intricate Mandalas which I absolutely love that book. That is my favorite Mandela's book out of all of theirs. So here, as usual, are a couple of images from inside the book. So again, that is Jade Summers' latest and greatest coloring book, Geometric Mandalas, combining my two favorite things, geometric designs and mandalas. Yay! <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching this flip through. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new content. I hope everybody's having a great day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys. <laughs>